and we're back for the last game of the night. There's Belfast Giants here. Look to take on VMA live here from the Saffo Ultra Rink. And we should be underway any second now as I ready up. VMA coming off a tough loss there to Belfast Giants. F couldn't really hack it in the first period, but after that, they were on top for the second two periods, but just couldn't make back the losses from the first. Let's see if they can take that momentum they had at the end of that game into this game here. Toast here, taking possession to open the game. Loses it straight to UZ. Lasse plays it up. We should see Lasse here playing in goal. They've tried the rotational system. They've tried sort of hybrid systems through the season. Because none of them are sort of natural goalkeepers. But I think they've now somewhat committed to Lasse playing as a goalkeeper. Conard playing today. In fact, Conard playing here in place of Allo, who played in the last game. Not sure what the reason is for that. Bubbles around to UZ, back to Bubbles. Bubbles tries to put one in the middle there. Pokemon takes it, bouncing it up. His Conage, trying to find a way past Molten. Bounces Molten clear to try and leave it for UZ, but Barbecue ends up with it, puts it in the middle, and UZ plays that away. Here's Molten, back across to Barbecue. No Oception here in the first period. This is the lineup they've tended to start with with Pokemon in goal, and they usually change something else as Molten there snipes it. Look at that from all the way out on the halfway line. Molten there snipes in a long shot, and in it goes. Let me just change the title for you. Cheers for whoever said. Toast here under pressure, plays it away for Barbecue. Nice job there, getting the puck up the rink. Back to Lasse. An unlucky goal there for Lasse because he got his head on it. But as happens so often in this game, you can get a bit on the shot and still not manage to save it. It's Toast there. Nice shot. Lasse does a good job clearing it away. Now sends the puck up the rink. Here's Conage and Barbecue on the boards. Back to Conage. Barbecue again here. He looks for Molten. Can't quite line that up. UZ now. Back to Toast. Carnage wins it on the board though. Plays up for Bubbles. Can Bubbles put it in the middle? It's right there in front of net. Pokemon. Good job under pressure there. Quick counter attack. Finds Molten. In it goes. Lovely bit of shooting there. Pokemon. Brilliant pass up to Molten. Gets a one on one situation there. Molten puts it up in the air. Far right corner. Lasse can't save that one. Conage looks for Bubbles. Are we going to see a repeat here for Volvo Mafia like in the last game? Couldn't get anything moving in the first and then struggled to recover that in the second and third. If you didn't watch, in the last game they went down 5-0 in the first, first period. Game finished 5-3. Um, they really just let the game get away from them in the first and be a shame if Volvo Mafia let that happen again, but so far, not seeing much from them aside from that. Has anyone noticed that in the crowd there are loads of people with red hats, maroon hats, and green shirts? Which makes no sense, because maroon is the secondary colour as Toast there slips in another. Lasse, not in goal. Caught out on the board there with, with user. They overcommit to the board, and there's no one home in net. And Lasse. Loses another one there. Bubbles. Can't get it past Molten. Volvo Mafia here. Let another one go. And it's Barbecue this time. Volvo Mafia here not functioning at all. Molten bounces up the board. This is after a close game with Grand Bappo, bear in mind. And Grand Bappo way higher up the tables than Belfast Giants have. Belfast Giants have, I mean, not had the greatest of seasons. They've, they've played well in places, but they... Haven't really looked like a complete team yet in most of their games, but here they are. Maybe this is the maybe this is when Belfast Giants make turn it around because they're looking good here. Lasse stops that one, tries to play it up, can't get it past Molten. Lasse bounces that out to the board, now plays it around for UZ. Here's Lasse again. Out into the middle. Toast is right there. And Toast there, not able to get it on target, but a nice play. It's just hard to tell with this VMA side. They just seem to be so on and off. 
in that last game against Gran Bapo, off in the first period, absolutely came alive in the second two. You've got to remember, of course, ended 5-3 in that game. If they can end this period 4 nothing and repeat that, they could, they could still bring this game back. Don't write them off here. They nearly brought it back against a five-goal deficit. But, I mean, it's just interesting to see how that they've repeated seemingly the same mistake here. They just have not showed up for this first period. Use it here, plays it to Bubbles. Good defensive play there. Pokemon rushed out there, bumped away Bubbles. Conage again, bouncing off the board. Round to Bubbles. Bubbles back to Conage. Nice one-two play there. Not able to finish it. His lasse again. Looks up for Bubbles again. This time Barbecue gets in the way. Now around Pokemon. Lasse out to the middle. To Molten. Molten looks back here for Pokemon. Pokemon up the board. Tries to get in the middle for Toast. Lasse, good job there. Getting on it, but Toast there. Makes the move on Lasse. Plays across looking for Barbecue. Now Barbecue plays for Molten. Barbecue bouncing around the back of the boards. Out into the middle. Molten there. Makes it five. Absolutely just brilliant play here. Lasse trying to play it clear it away. Desperately trying to get some space. And it ends up right on Molten's stick. And it's another 5 nothing period. And ready up here. Here we go. Let's get ready for this second period. Belfast Giants, unsurprisingly, keeping the lineup the same. No Aloe here. I was half expecting Aloe to make an appearance at this point. But it's not happened. So here we go. We should be underway for the second period now. Waiting for this to get started. Still waiting for it to get started. Not sure what we're waiting for here. Everyone's readied up, but they're not on the way. It's going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting period here for VMA. They need to plant their feet. And surprise, surprise, as I said, Allo makes an appearance in place of UZ. I somewhat expected that to happen. I did check, quickly check their Discord, and Allo was uh, muted in their Discord, so I assumed he was AFK, but he's back now. Pokemon here. Try uh, gets that past Allo. I noticed VMA have bothered to color co uh, coordinate their jerseys, which I appreciate. They've all got the sort of um, fade jersey. Bubbles there tries a shot into the middle for Allo. Allo looks for space, plays in a nice shot there. Allo already bringing some some pizzazz that this VMA side didn't have in that first period. Bouncing it off the board for Konage. That pizzazz is going to have to go a long way, though, remember. This is a 5 nothing deficit they found themselves in. And here's Barbecue, seeing if he can make it 6. Allo there for it. Finds a way past Barbecue, now plays it up the board. Toast catches it on the board there, and to the middle. Here's Allo. Oh, and Allo doesn't usually miss those. Pokemon there, stopped by Allo again. Bouncing back, Conage, back to Bubbles. And Aloe there, couldn't sneak around the post. VMA though, now definitely more comfortable like this. Applying more pressure than they have before. Bouncing off the round the board to Molten. Molten plays up for Barbecue, nice pass there. Into the middle is Molten, stopped by Conage. Molten kept it, nearly found a way past Conage there. Lasse, what can he do with it? Plays up the board. Allo and Bubbles, neither of them able to get on it. Now Lasse again. To Conage, back to Allo. Toast wins it, plays it up for Molten. Molten. To Barbecue, Molten again. 
Awesome puts it in the middle. Bubbles bounce it out to the edge. Here's Pokemon. Barbecue managed to get it through two there. VMA looked better this period, but they need to be scoring already. They cannot afford a scoreless foot second period. They at least need to claw back a couple of those goals. Put them in a position where they can make the comeback in the third. So far, Belfast Giants playing very nicely. Good defensive effort, clearing the puck away out of their half quickly. Not giving VMA any chances. Pokemon again there, quick to get that puck away. Dumping the puck as Bubbles there. Allo, let's say Allo was polite and left it for Bubbles. It was hard to tell, but Bubbles gets off the board, up in the air, off of Pokemon's head. Much like that first goal that VMA conceded. Allo there had an opportunity to tap it in. Let Bubbles run in and take it. Nice job there. Can Bubbles there set up with another opportunity off of Konarge, but nobody's going to screw off it. Here's Pokemon playing up for Molson. Lasse avoids the pressure. Can't avoid Toast, though, who plays it straight back to Barbecue. Now around for Konarge. Up the board. Molten and Bubbles. Good pressure there by Allo. Then now Konarge catches it. Bounces out to Allo. Allo puts it in the middle. There's no one home for it. I'd say they at least need to get two in this period, VMA, if they want any chance of pulling off a comeback here. So far, they've certainly had the edge this period, but... They're not looking that dominant. Oh, and Bubbles there sneaks one through a crowd. As I say that, Aloe sets up a nice pass in the middle. And Bubbles tees off on it, just manages to sneak it through a gap. 2-0 here. I'd say this now make, puts it into the realms of possibility with a minute 42 left. Can VMA pull off the comeback from a 5-0 deficit? Would certainly be an impressive comeback if they can. And I think it would certainly add to Allo's bragging rights. Toast here. Nice move. Can't get to it before Lasse clears it away. Now Barbecue has it. Allo stops that getting played into the middle. Lasse round. Molten's on the end of it though. His bubbles. Back to Lasse. Lasse takes it. Bounces up for... Again, it's Toast. Toast has been an absolute hawk on that board. Able to... Intercept a lot of those passes up there. Now puts it back across for Barbecue. Barbecue gets it to Molson. Can't get the turn on it. Now Bubbles looked to score on the counter-attack. Pokemon was there for it though. And the shot was well to the left. Molson here puts it. Tries to lead Barbecue there with a shot. Now Barbecue into the middle. Nice set up there. VMA looking for that third. Nice try there by Molten, but, but uh, it was Konarge who just got his stick on it, played it away from Barbecue. Allo there with the pressure. Round to Pokemon. Now Konarge on the board. Konarge to Allo. Allo. Still Allo. Into the middle. No one there for it. Lasse up to Bubbles. Not quite able to get on him. Back to Lasse. They got that quickly here with 10 seconds left. If they want to get that third this period. Toast here playing it safe. Puts it in his own defensive zone. And that will be the buzzer. Ending the second period. Belfast Giants there. I think they did enough. I'd be shocked if VMA can pull this off. They need three goals in this period. From what I've seen. I think BFJ, Belfast Giants have done enough to get the win. But we'll see here. Post and Konash. And barbecue back to Pokemon. Playing up for barbecue. Here's Toast up in the middle to Molten. Nice bit of setup there. Really nice bit of Bel play by Belfast Giants. The Giants here looking better than they ever have, really, I'd say. I don't think they've looked this good all season. And they're, they're starting to really heat up as a team, I'd say. Starting to work together much better. Bubbles there set up with a chance. Couldn't quite work out whether to do it. Looked like he hesitated whether he should take the shot. Go for the pass across the face of net. Allo has it here. Can't get it past barbecue. This is a really nice bit of play by Belfast Giants. Playing it safe, as safe as needed. Applying pressure, but not taking too many risks. Just maintaining that lead. Lasse plays up for Bubbles. Bubbles puts it in the middle. Brilliant save there by Pokemon. Really impressive save. Nice read on it. Doesn't overcommit. Somebody asked, well, oh, OT Scroty asked whether they have adverts. It's because you haven't subbed. Uh, that's pretty much how it is. Wait, is there an advert running then? 
Toast, uh, they're getting super, super aggressive with the adverts. Um, Twitches. They just run them. I mean, I ran an advert myself, like, earlier in the stream, and they're still running them. Which, I mean, it used to be that if you ran adverts, they wouldn't run them automatically. So I always tried to run them. That's why I try and run well. That's half the reason why I run them in between games. The other half is I get money for it. Here's Molten now. Putting it across. Nice pass for Barbecue. Colonel's just managed to clear it. VMA here. Need to, need to speed up. Here's Allo. Bouncing out to Bubbles. Bubbles puts it in the middle. And as usual, Pokemon holds his post nicely. Allo can't get past Toast. Back to Lasse. Molten stops that on the board. Now up to Bubbles. Can't get it past Pokemon again. Who's had an absolute brilliant day in goal. Here's Allo trying to get into the middle. Carnage again. Toast in the middle. Playing it dangerously there, but no one there for it. Allo now puts it in. VMA, this is exactly like the last game. Same scoreline. Allo there. Quick little shot. Puts it right in the centre. Would have been an almost impossible goal to save. Look at that from Allo. Absolute class play. Alosolo... Proving there again why well, he is truly one of the greatest to ever do it. Round to Aloe again. And Bubbles puts out in the middle. BFG desperately trying to clear this out. You can tell maybe the pressure's starting to get to them here, but Pokemon not feeling that pressure at all. Here's Bubbles. He puts in the middle. Aloe there, just not able to get on the end of it. Oh, and that's unfortunate. The shot cleared away onto Molten Stick and it bounces through. Look at that. Allo puts on Pokemon Stick who clears it straight onto Molten Stick and in it goes. All of a sudden, BFG starting to look not quite so secure with their lead here. Two minutes left and it's a 5-4. And Allo there. Brilliant pressure again and Pokemon only able to clear it away just by the skin of his teeth off the post. Lasse coming around from the other side. What can he do? Plays up toe, stops it there. Molten puts it in the middle. Lasse, what a reaction there. Allo and Lasse combining on the save. What a reaction. Conage looking across. Here's Conage again. Barbecue, can he get the turn? No, he can't. Now Lasse needs to clear that away. Another good save by Lasse. Playing well here. In this, after a disappointing... Well, to be honest, a disappointing first period for the whole team. Not just Lasse. It was a team effort that got them down by five. Now, it's the opposite story. They are trying so desperately to get those goals and they can't quite get them in. Lasse to Allo. Allo out in the middle looking for Conage. From now around to Bubbles. Here's Bubbles to Conage. Conage trying to play it back the boards down the boards there. Toast to Allo. Fighting on the boards. His Conage has an open net. Molten there makes the save. Can Bubbles play it in? I didn't even realise. It's 40 seconds left here. VMA one goal out. I mean, let's be honest. I think everyone here in chat except for Oception wants this to go to overtime. Bubbles puts it in the middle. Pokemon clears the away. Conage. 30 seconds now. And Bubbles does it. It's 5-5. Five, five. 28 seconds left and Bubbles there equalises. I, I can't believe how close this season's been. The amount of games we've had like this this season, where it's just absolute last second heroics. And, oh my. Oh my. Oh goodness. Oh dear. Do you remember what I said about last second heroics? Um, there's last second heroics and then there's whatever the fuck our commissioner just did. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ten seconds left here. It's going to take a, a real miracle. Lasse stops it there. Needs to play it away. Plays it looking for Conage. And unfortunately there... That was not the game that VMA wants it to be at all. With 28 seconds left, Bubbles... Absolutely lines up a, a, a screamer there to equalise it. And Lasse... 
Can't quite time his dash right. And it all ends there for BMA. A tough loss. Belfast Giants absolutely ran away with it in the first period. An almost repeat of their previous game. And uh, unfortunately, they, they nearly got the comeback this time, but it fell apart at the last hurdle there with Lasse missing the dash. And uh, that will be game over there for Volvo Mafia. Belfast Giants taking the win. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, as always. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go across to the end game screen, uh, end stream screen, and I'll see you probably tomorrow for some more games.